Welcome back to the Grand Tour of Switzerland. It's Oli here and in this episode, we are in the beautiful region of Interlaken. And this is one of the most popular and favorite destinations amongst tourists and also amongst locals and rightfully so because this place is just incredibly scenic. So in this itinerary, I will be bringing you around a mountain excursion up to Fest, which is over there. So if you're interested to find out about this itinerary, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, turn the notifications bells on and let's get going! We just arrived at Grindelwald. This is one of the most popular destinations in Switzerland because the scenes here are just incredible! If you do not know, this is the exact emoji train that you will find when you're on WhatsApp, it's this train that is inspired from. So at Grindelwald station, right outside the train station is the ticket office. This is also where you can deposit your baggage if you have heavy luggages and you want to store it at a safe place. It's just over here. Then straight ahead is where you go out and then to go to the cable car station. To reach the first Gondola station, you just have to keep walking straight past the main town. However, if you happen to have the Swiss Travel Pass, the Bernou Oberland Pass or the Yongpao Travel Pass, you can take the bus for free. So we are here on a Sunday and it's quite surprising because most of the shops and the restaurants are open. Maybe because it's a public holiday today, so it's quite bustling right now in Grindelwald. Now we're inside the gondola that's going to bring us up to first and in terms of the ticket pricing, it's 64 francs for the full fare but if you have the Swiss travel pass or the hardware card, it is at a 50% discount at 34 francs. If you are a holder of the Berner Oberland Pass or the Yongfau Travel Pass, then you're in luck because your entire ride up to Fiesta is free. of the Tiso Cave Walk is not for those who are fear of heights. It's a long walk that's just right at the edge of the cliff and the views here are just incredible and highly recommended if you're here up on the first mountain. The first cliff walk by Tiso is a metal walkway and a swinging bridge that is perched to the side of the Fiesta Mountain at 2168 meters. It might look a little bit intimidating at first so if you have a fear of heights you might want to be careful but overall the views are so amazing here and it's just well worth beating your fears and taking a short walk here. Towards the end of the walk, there is also a viewing platform which happens to be a really popular photo spot so expect long queues if you want a photo up here. This is the restaurant where you can have drinks inside. Very spectacular here and there's a lot of people right now because it's public holiday again. There are two incredible attractions at Fiesta and one of which is the Fiesta Flyer. This is a zip line with a single chair so you fly down from Fiesta to Schreckfeld really fast and this is guaranteed to give you that adrenaline rush. The second attraction which I think is more unique is the Fiesta Glider. If you ever wanted to see the world like a bird, this is your chance. The Fiesta Glider is like a zip line except that you're flying like a bird with your face down and you're pulled 800 meters backwards up to Fiesta and then you fly down at a speed of 83 km per hour. The Fiesta Glider starts and ends at Schreckfeld station so to do this activity, take the cable car one stop down from Fiesta. We are really sad because the lines was just too long and we just can't wait because it's going to take at least an hour and a half to be our turn and the, the thing closed at 4.15pm so we are really cutting it so 
another time perhaps. It's a really fun summer activity that you can try when you are here at the Fast Mountain and that is the trotty bike. So you can actually take it down all the way downhill to the, the station at the bottom and it's an easy ride down and a good alternative to the Kino Park. Take note that the trotty bike or the mountain cart activities are only available during summer from May onwards. The mountain cart starts from track belt to boat, while the rental for the trotty bike is at boat station. So make sure you take the cable car down from Fiesta. So this is a trotty bike and you just have to balance on this, um, I don't know, this platform. It can be quite dangerous because you're going all the way downhill. So just make sure you hold, press the brakes real tight, especially when you're going downhill. But otherwise, it's a really fun experience. We love it. Back at Grindelwald, I think the whole trotty bike down took us about half an hour, including time for pictures and stopping along the way. If you have watched my past video on top mistakes that tourists make in Switzerland, you will know that I've always advised not staying too long in Interlaken, but given that it is only half an hour away from Grindelwald, there's no excuse to visit it as a day trip to enjoy a beautiful sunset at the top of Hadaku. I like this restaurant because they are very Asian oriented. Look at this, they have vegetarian dishes and then they have veggie burger too and also Indian dishes, bean masala curry. I love this terrace. It's just so nice when you're here for sunset. Look at the view. You can enjoy your food but if it's too cold you can eat it inside but it's maybe not that nice. You should sit out here and then you can stick there for some pictures. into our room at Hotel du Glacier here in Grindelwald and I love the layout it's so modern 